why I've been so concerned about Thomas having a relationship with Hope. I, I do believe that he's healed. I believe that he's not obsessed with her anymore. But it takes that one thing to just trigger him. And I worry about that. I worry about what will happen if Hope lets him down. friends welcome to another bold and a beautiful recap and review the way they shot that with Steffi's voice over with Hope and Thomas hugging but you can see Hope's face looking very worried is very telling I think Hope is realizing that she is in over her head with Thomas it was an interesting show today let's get into it so we open up with uh, Finn and Steffi's conversation ongoing about what Xander told him Steffi can't believe that Xander accused Thomas of murder and she reiterated that Emma's car, it, it was an accident. Now, I went back and watched the original episode that this aired on. I'll link it down below so you can go back and watch it as well. The way they're cutting this is a little bit different than how it played out originally. Now, they keep in the flashbacks, they keep cutting from Emma texting to run off the road. In the original episode, there was some time lapse. She had already put the phone down and had both hands on the wheels. She was looking at her rear view window and was yelling at the person behind her for riding her bumper, which was, was, which was actually Thomas. And then she ran off the road. So that's where the fan wars I was talking about the other day came in because of how it was shot when it originally aired. They're playing it back differently. They're cutting out a lot of that scene to condense it. So I'm wondering where they're going with this. Are they going to rewrite it? Or are they gonna have Finn dig and find out that Thomas was behind her riding her bumper, which somewhat may have caused her to drive erratically. Right now, Finn is being very adamant that they need to keep their eyes on Thomas and to watch out for him to make sure that he doesn't backslide. Ecstatic, Douglas would be, right? Take your time, okay? I'm not going anywhere. My eye will never wander to another woman. Because for me, it's only you, Hope. Only you. Now, Thomas appears to be saying all the right things right now. Hope turned out his proposal. He didn't freak out. He was very cool about it. He did the beautiful gesture telling her to wear the ring around her neck so it would be close to her heart. She did tell him that she did not want to do that today because she wanted that to stay between the two of them so everybody else wouldn't freak out. Now, here is my thought, and I want to know what you think. Does all of this seem a little bit manipulative? Because you see he's back to talking about how Douglas would be happy if they get back together. He's making sure to bring up that he only has eyes for her because he knows that's a big point with her with Liam's divided heart. So even though he appears to be saying all the right things, I'm wondering if his motive is to manipulate her. He's trying to put the thought in her head about marriage. And throwing in little things that he knows is important to her, for instance, the Douglas thing and the my heart is only with you that he keeps pounding into her head. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think there is a twinge of manipulation going on there? But you can see throughout this whole episode in the back of Holt's mind, she's getting worried. That's the way I took it from her facial expressions. Let me know if you took it differently. But I see on her face, she's getting worried that she may be playing with fire by going along with this whole Thomas relationship or situationship or whatever it is she's been doing with him the past few months. You made eye contact, we danced, we talked for hours. It was a very memorable evening. At least it was for me. I haven't forgotten. Something tells me you haven't either. So we had a Liam and Bill sighting today and we're getting ready to get into this Bill storyline, which looks like they're going in the direction of Luna being Bill's child. Another child that Bill possibly has that he knew nothing about. So if you remember, before they got deep into the Eric illness storyline, they had Bill meet Luna's mother, Poppy, 
and he felt like he knew her, but she said, no, she doesn't know him. Now he's saying they met at a festival over 20 years ago. Luna should be around 21, 22, somewhere in there. Poppy was beautiful. All the guys wanted her, including Bill. They danced and talked the night away, and it was a special evening. Now, my question is, does Poppy know that Bill is Luna's father? And if so, why is she playing coy? And why did she not want Bill in Luna's life? Could it be like the same situation with Quinn and Liam's mother? So if that is the direction that they're going, it'll be interesting to see how they flesh this out. And it will be interesting to see what Finn's mother thinks about it. Those were your major storylines for today. Drop them in the comments and let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching and please share the video with any other bold and beautiful fans that you know out there. Please don't forget to like, comment, follow, or subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one.